Hello and welcome back everyone. It is your girl Cassandra Olivia back with yet another natural hair tutorial. This is my lovely client Taylor. She came to me last July to get her first silk press and trimmed by me in a long time and I just want to show you guys her growth over the last um, several months and I am going in. I already shampooed her hair. I did a deep hydrating treatment. If you guys want to know how I shampoo, I have several videos on my channel. I will try to link them down below. Sometimes I forget but please just look on my channel. They are there. Um, I miss you guys. I'm sorry for the long delay. I was not feeling well with allergy season and my asthma. I just had to take a break and um, it's wedding season now. So mentally, I just was just doing a lot. So I do apologize for the delay. But thank you for everybody who stuck around. I really appreciate you guys for just being there for me and just believing in me and just being awesome subscribers, followers, supporters. That does not go unnoticed. I do appreciate every single last individual one of you guys. Um, so in the beginning of this video, I was showing the products that I'm using. I'm going in with the leaf and flower. I'm using the seven minute blowout. Now, obviously, because her hair is natural and it's more thick, it's going to take longer than seven minutes. But this is a CBD infused product. And leaf and flower actually reached out to me a while back and sent me a nice mini PR kit. They sent me all of their moisturizing shampoos and conditioners, sprays and molecular oil. They sent me so many things. And I made a couple videos on Instagram using their products. And then they reached out to me again saying, hey, we think you would be awesome if you could join our ambassador program. So basically, I am now a leaf and flower ambassador. They're going to send me products every quarter, which I believe is every three months. And basically, they just want me to um, post and show you guys their products. But I wouldn't post anything that I don't stand behind. You guys already know that, especially when it comes to a silk press or natural hair. You guys know I'm pretty much a creature of habit. So if I don't feel comfortable using something, I will not use it. So I use this on myself. I also use it on my daughter's my clients my sister and then I was like okay I feel comfortable enough using this product and it is a very very good product so um when I first started using this I was mixing up CBD with THC because I know a lot of people affiliate that with marijuana um it's an extract but it doesn't get you high um and it just does a lot of good things for your hair but um we do love a little THC over here period no, I'm just kidding <laughs> But um, yeah, this is CBD infused. It's really good for your hair. It's supposed to decrease the blow drying time by 50%. And it also repairs damage. And it also has a thermal heat protectant as well. So it has a CBD based corrective complex to re repair your hair as it's drying and instantly smooth any frizz. And it makes your hair bouncy and flexible and shiny so i've been going in with this on literally every client you guys know i like to use like my um rusk oil or like my paul mitchell super skinny but i've literally been using this seven minute blow dry spray for every natural hair client that's came in the last two weeks and i love the results it works on every single hair type from very fine to very thick and i really really enjoyed using this product so for taylor's hair you guys know I already shampooed and deep conditioned her hair off camera. I'm just going in. I went in slow motion kind of in the beginning just to show you guys how I section the hair. How I make sure to thoroughly saturate it with water. But then I did want to show you guys a little bit more of this just in case you're new to my channel or you just want to know how I blow dry. But of course it's sped up but I do take my time. So don't feel like you have to rush with the blow dry. The blow dry is super important because if you don't get the blow dry straight what ends up happening is you end up having to go back over the hair with the flat iron so many times to try to fix that error so if you get the hair as straight as possible first with the blow dry then the flat iron process is only like one to two passes max and you don't have to worry about heat damaging your hair so before i blow dry i went in with the molecular blowout and then i'm just going in now with the influence s3 spray if you guys want to know how i blow dry as well i do have a few tutorials on my page i cut this one short just because it took me about 35 minutes to blow dry her hair i do not rush for any of my clients i typically book out two hours two and a half hours to do each and every client most of the time i can get them done in about an hour and 15 hour and 30 minutes but some clients do take longer than others so i just like to make sure that i have a decent amount of time so that way i'm not rushing my clients i'm not running one client behind another and then i still have time in between to sanitize so here i am i'm going in with my custom flat irons i did use some influence s3 spray you can purchase this on the influence website but you have to be a licensed cosmetologist i do apologize for that but you guys know i like to use legit products and i feel like if you're going to charge for your services especially if you're going to charge top dollar for your services you don't want to be using stuff that you can get at your local like walgreens or rite aid because it's like i can just do this at home so i try to make sure that i use high-end good quality products and it really does make a difference so 
in the end of this video, I am going to show a side by side of how Taylor's hair was when she came in last year versus now. It has grown so much, but she has not had a trim since the last time I did it. She's not local, so she travels very far to come see me. And I really do appreciate you for that, girl. I really do. Um, she was super, super comfortable with letting me record her. She just been a awesome presence and awesome clients from day one. Um, from day one. But um, I'm just going in here and just trimming her hair. I like to start off with like a zero degree technically. And then I just follow the natural hair shape. And then I do pull the hair out at a 90 degree angle just to make sure that I can get everything that's inside of the haircut. Um, I'm sorry, I just lost my whole train of thought. I'm literally hiding in my car trying to do my voiceover because the kids are on spring break and my daughter just came outside and kept saying, hi, mommy. So I'm like, ah, I gotta cut this. But um, if you hear Ava in the background, it is literally Friday and spring break has begun. So wish me luck. I'm gonna be off for an entire week with my kiddos, but we are gonna do some fun activities. Um, so again, I'm just going in, trimming her hair out. And like I said, I'm gonna show you guys her before versus her after coming in. I did tell her that she needs to come at least twice a year minimum to get her hair trimmed. But I do customize the trim based off of the client. Not every client is the same. So I just like to look at the general shape of their hair, how their hair is growing in, any thin spots. And I like to start there, create my guideline or create my general shape. And then I do go in at a 90 degree angle and pull everything out. Um, also, before I do any like blow dry, I put a heat protectant, which was again, a seven minute blowout. Before I press the hair, I use the Influence S3 spray. And then before I go in for my final style, I am gonna go in with the S3 spray once again. Now, I know some people always ask, how come you just don't curl the hair all in one? For this particular client, I knew that I was going to trim her hair. So my goal was to get the hair as straight as possible so I can see what was going on with her ends. Then to trim her hair and then to go back in on a lower setting and then just add like a bump to her hair. So Taylor let me freestyle. She loved the way I did her hair last time. And I just like the way that her hair is. It's super, super thick and full. And I didn't want to make it look limp and lifeless. So I just told her like, hey, let me know what you want. She said, honestly, do whatever you want to do. So I'm just going in feathering her hair and my goal was to give her like big sexy hair i wanted body i wanted like shape i wanted to have movement so you guys are going to see how i'm going to curl this it's nothing too extravagant i'm literally just using the flick of my wrist to bend the ends of the hair and then i'm going to run my fingers through i'm going to put a little bit of the um hair flex in her hair as well and then i'm just going to make sure to run my fingers through and then just give her body and movement you guys will see that in just a second um, i'm sorry if i'm rambling I just want to make sure that I am doing my due diligence and explaining what I'm doing to the best of my ability. Um, so just enjoy the rest of this video. And again, at the very end, I'm going to insert how her hair was last year when she came. And then you guys are going to see the side by side of how much her hair has grown. She's doing a really good job taking care of her hair. And I'm just very blessed that she trusts me with her hair and that she travels to have your girl do her hair because she definitely could have gone to several other places, but she chose me. So look at that shine, guys look at that shine oh and i almost forgot to mention um leaf and flower did send me their shampoo and their conditioner as well so i've also used that in her hair so i went in with the leaf and flower moisturizing shampoo and their moisturizing conditioner i'll be sure to link everything down below and then i went in with that um seven minute blow dry so i was trying to use all leaf and flower products the only thing that i didn't use that was leaf and flower was the influence s3 spray and my edge control which is by even new york i just got this from the hair store super simple a lot of my clients don't like edge control but taylor was like go for it so i said you know what let's do it so i'm gonna spin her around let her see the end result she completely trusts me, so I just trimmed her hair, and she already knew I was going to do what I was going to do. But most of the time, I let my clients hold the mirror, and I just show them what's going on. Oh, and before I forget, I was having a horrible day with my asthma and, like, having a hot flash. So I was just joking around, like, I wish I could take my wig off. And she was like, girl, go ahead. So I took my wig off mid-hair appointment and threw this cheetah print scarf on. It's just giving black girl magic. Like, sometimes y'all just got to understand, like nobody's perfect we all have bad days and off days and I was gonna sit there and try to thug it out and she was like girl if you're uncomfortable as long as you do my hair I don't care what you need to do so I literally got myself together I went in the bathroom took my wig off and my scarf on and she was like let's get it so uh, much appreciated much love I think that's so unprofessional but your girl was literally sweating bullets and the owner of the building had the heat on and it was hot in the building so I was just having the worst time with my asthma and the fact that she understood I really appreciated her for that so um catch a glimpse of that and then I'm gonna put a side by side now of how her hair is now and how it was during her first visit thank you thank you thank you guys so much for watching i will be sure to link my instagram 
And of course, follow me on Instagram and YouTube. Drop a comment down below if you like this video. And I will see you wonderful people in my next video. I hope everybody has a wonderful and productive week or weekend or spring break with your family. And I will catch you guys later.